What's going on everyone? Viper FPV here and today we are comparing two FPV cameras. We're comparing the Foxier Starlight Cat 2 and then also the Foxier Toothless 2. Uh, both those cameras have came out this year from Foxier and uh, the Cat 2 is more of a nighttime, more geared towards flying at night and you'll see that here in the comparison. Um, the Toothless 2 is supposed to be more of an all-weather FPV camera so it's not the best at night, not the best during the day. It's also not best on a cloudy day or actually found it to be really, really good on a cloudy day. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the comparison. Um, I'm going to be leaving links to both of these down below. Um, there will be an affiliate links and does help support the channel. Um, but also leave a comment down below of which camera you thought was better. I believe these camera videos are really, really helpful in uh, identifying, you know, especially for a newcomer, what FPV camera they like to use. Um, so let's go ahead without further ado and get to the um, comparing. All right, so we have the Foxier Cat 2 on the left and the Foxier Toothless 2 on the right. And I started off with the nighttime, and this is the darkest part of the uh, area where I'm filming this. And uh, the Cat 2 is definitely doing a really well job at night. Um, and then we have the Toothless 2 on the right. And you can see when I blow it up like this, um, kind of how it gets pixelated or a lot of noise in the video. Um, that's really just trying to get all that light into the sensor, um, causing that noise. But the Cat 2 is doing a really, really good job at night as it's been advertised. So no surprises really there. Uh, the Toothless 2 is still flyable at night. So uh, don't say it's not. It is actually a pretty decent camera at night. Um, Cat 2, um, during the day, we have on the left, and then the Toothless 2 on the right. Um, now, I like the little more oversaturated image, kind of like on the Cat 2, opposed to the Toothless 2. A lot of people do like the natural look with the Toothless 2. It actually does have a really well-balanced uh, color palette and uh, you know saturation with, between all the colors it has on it. Um, and the Cat 2 has a little bit more of an overly aggressive um, wide dynamic range. Um, so now we're comparing like the light transitions. Um, now I didn't have the the video sync just right, uh, but I think the Toothless 2 is just a tad bit deuce. It is slower than the Cat 2 on uh, light to dark. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and go over and blow it up a little bit so you can see kind of a more of a zoomed in image. Um, and uh, you do see that little bit more overly saturated, or maybe it's in the glare from the sun shining on the lens, causing that like overly uh, over saturate not over saturation but over um exposure on the toothless 2 uh the cat 2 though does have a little bit of over saturation on it so that is those two cameras compared during the day um so now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to um a cloudy day and as you can see this was actually a really really cloudy day it pretty much had um it was about the rain so it was actually kind of dark out um probably not the best day but what you'll see here is that, you know, they both do look pretty comparable uh, to each other. Um, I think the Cat 2 is a little bit darker in this situation, um, but I don't mind it. It actually looks okay to me and looks more actually natural of what the light looked that day. Um, but yeah, I mean, both these cameras are really actually pretty nice. Uh, the Cat 2 is a little more preferred if you want to fly during the evening or at night. Um, and then the Toothless 2 is just pretty much a really good all around FPV camera. Um, so let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys thought, um, but I'll uh, see you guys in a future video and uh, stay tuned to some more future videos just like this one. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, give this video a like. See you guys in a future video. Peace.